Hi, today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about DAS, what it is, how to implement it, the pros and cons, and much more. DAS stands for Distributed Antenna System and is used to supply cellular signal within large buildings like convention centers, hospitals, schools, stadiums, and so forth. Oftentimes, these buildings are made of concrete and metal which weaken or sometimes completely block the signal from passing through. So you may have decent cell signal outside the structure, but once you go inside, you're unable to use your phone because of poor signal quality. I'm sure this has happened to all of us. This is where a DAS system comes into play. The DAS takes the signal outside of the building, brings it inside, and distributes that signal throughout the building. There are two main types of the DAS systems, passive and active. I'll talk about these, the pros and the cons, as well as the best applications. Passive DAS, sometimes called cellular signal amplifiers, captures the outside cellular signal through the donor antenna and sends it through coax cable to the amplifier unit. If the signal is weak, the amplifier boosts the signal and then sends the stronger signal out to the network of broadcast antennas using splitters. Cellular amplifiers come in a range of sizes to cover anywhere from 5,000 to 100,000 square feet with a single amplifier. Multiple units can be connected to a single donor antenna if needed to provide larger coverage areas. These amplifier units can be located anywhere in the building from server rooms to data closets or anywhere else that it is required. So you can cover nearly any sized building using passive DAS. Active DAS works by passing that signal inside through coax cables from the carrier to a digital conversion unit inside the building. There. The signal is converted to an optical signal and is passed through fiber optic cables to a remote access unit, or RAU, elsewhere in the building. The RAU converts the signal back to RF and amplifies it and then distributes the signal through coax cables to the broadcast antennas. So what are the pros and cons of each type of DAS? Pros. Passive DAS is much less expensive to deploy normally about 75% less than the cost of active DAS. Passive DAS or cellular amplifiers provide coverage for all carriers and frequencies. Multiple amplifiers can be placed throughout the building to cover nearly any size building. Installation and implementation of passive DAS is less complicated because there is no conversion of signal required and less components involved. Passive DAS cons. Because the signal will degrade as more cable is introduced, it is not recommended to use long cable runs with a passive DAS. Instead, use multiple amplifiers throughout the structure to provide the needed coverage. For extremely large buildings like stadiums, a passive DAS is often not a prime solution due to the need for long cable runs. Active DAS Pros Converting RF to optical signal and using fiber optic cable allows for very long runs with no signal loss. You can monitor an active DAS remotely via SNMP. Active DAS is suited for very large buildings because of their ability to run very long cable runs with no loss. Active DAS Cons Active DAS is very expensive to implement, often costing as much as 10 times that of passive DAS. Active DAS only works for one carrier's frequency. To implement a full solution for all carriers, multiple sets of the various components are required, complicating installation and increasing cost. Implementation of Active DAS is more complicated and involves many more components. So in short, Passive DAS is a great solution for most buildings like hospitals, retail stores, hotels, shopping malls, and schools. You can provide identical coverage in these types of buildings at a fraction of the cost of active DAS. Active DAS is ideal for very large structures like convention centers and stadiums. It can be used in smaller buildings, but often the cost is prohibitive for these types of installations. I hope that gives you a good idea of what DAS is and how to best utilize it. Please subscribe to our channel where you can watch more videos about Wilson Pro and our passive DAS solutions. We'll see you next time. Thank you.